Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I have a video that just kind of popped into my head the other day and it's really because I was just looking through my collection, um, shopping my stash and thinking, oh, I cannot wait to use that this summer. I can't wait to use that and the other. And I was just like, that's a great video. Uh, summer makeup I'm excited to use. I'm sure we all have makeup that we've kind of relegated to a certain season. We don't use something during winter. We only use it during summer and vice versa. And there are a few things that I am like ready to bust out of my collection and start using for the summer and I'm super excited about it. So I have a lot of them on my face today. I'm not sure how I feel about this eye look. I was going for a pink green thing. Those were my wedding colors, by the way. Um, and I just don't know how I, if I like how it turned out. Not so much the fault of the product, more my own color combination that I put together, but we'll get into it. Okay, so let's start with probably my favorite summer product in my entire collection. This is the um, MAC Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in the shade Sun Basque. Now it's called the blush, but I use this exclusively as a bronzer. So this is a very kind of burnt red bronzer. Um, there are a lot of people I think that like more red tone bronzers and some people like more cool tone bronzers. In the summertime I definitely want to look a little bit sunburned. Now I don't want my skin to be sunburned. Um, I'm always talking about SPF and we'll get to that. But I kind of want that look. I want that has been out in the sun all day type of look and I feel like that's exactly what this is. So I'm wearing this on my face today. One of my favorite ways to use it is to actually like put it in all the regular places you would put bronzer but then put a little bit across the bridge of my nose and I feel like when you get sun you always get it on your nose and so I love to kind of play with that a little bit and it just makes you look like you've been out in the sun all day. Next are blushes. I have this one which I only only ever wear during the summertime. This is from NYX. It's an ombre blush and it's called soft flush I don't know why they call it that there's nothing soft about this this is bright orange um, like very very coral this is so ultra pigmented that you have to be so careful with it I'll always tap off my brush and then I'll even like kind of pat it down on my hand you can see I kind of did that today you can see a little bit on blush right here on my hand um, to get any excess off because if you have any excess you can end up looking very clown like and even I feel like even after doing that it's still like you need a light hand um, that's the only thing about this product you need to know how to work with it if you just go in with a brush and slap it on your face it's gonna look crazy but I love the coral tone of this again it's kind of that burnt apricot look my favorite my favorite kind of cheek color is definitely that burnt apricot for the summertime. Another blush I really love, and I kind of would use this instead of a bronzer sometimes because this definitely has a very neutral tone to it. This is from MAC again. This is the Mineralized Blush and Warm Soul. So this is definitely a very neutral blush. It's almost like a brown shade. It's almost that baked earth type of shade. It's very, very sheer, like shimmery again. It's definitely got that sheeny. It's definitely got that kind of sheeny quality to it, but it can sometimes look like a bronzer as well. So I will sometimes use this, like I'll put it on as a blush, but I might go a little bit more heavy with it to kind of substitute it as a bronzer as well. I really love the way this looks. So eyeshadow wise, I just filmed the shop my stash the other day and I forgot to pull this in. Um, this is a brand new product to me and I had it in a different spot. And when I thought about it, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot to pull that into my shop my stash because I'm so excited to use this this summer. So this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Weekend Festival palette. I've only used this today and one other time. The other time was a palette bingo. I'll link to that below. The look turned out gorgeous. I was so impressed with the pigmentation, the blendability of these shadows, the metallics, how they pop like incredibly well. So this is what I'm wearing today. This is a very, very colorful palette. You definitely have neutrals in it, but you've got pinks, you've got greens, you've got blues, you've got purples, oranges, um, like a gold. There's so much going on here. I love colorful palettes. They are like just up there with my favorite makeup products. So you've got a lot of different metallics in here as well. I'm using this green today on my lid. I use a combination of the two pinks and a little bit of the purple in the outer corner and that's what I did today. Um, like I said, I just don't know if I love the color combination I did, but I am excited to use this and get creative with it this summer. I love using color on my eyes in the summer. I love using color on my eyes all year round, but I feel like the summer is a more socially acceptable time to do it. I don't know 
why. I don't know if I should even care about that, but you know, I just feel like going to work with um, a turquoise eye in the summertime would not be, you know, I wouldn't be given the side eye. Like I might be given the side eye in the middle of winter. So you know what I mean? Um, so I'm really excited to play with that. I actually had to put this away this palette here. This is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I had to put this away just to force myself to use other things because I've been using this for the last month and a half and I've been enjoying it so much. This is just like warm, like metallic golds, reds, yellows, oranges, just like everything you want in a warm palette for the summertime. And I am going to pull this in my next Shop My Stash, like the one after this, but I, I just felt like I had to put this away for a while because I would have just used only this every single day. It's just so beautiful. Um, ColourPop pressed shadows, again, just such great quality. They are so easy to use, so easy to blend. The color selection, you can get any color under the rainbow if you're going to be getting like the single ones. But I just love the quality of these. I think they're amazing. And this palette in particular is really, really great. Every time I wear this to work, I always get like people coming up to me. Oh my God, what is on your eyes? It's so beautiful. So this I'm excited to just wear. Like I'll probably wear this all of July and August if I'm honest. And I, I think that'll be good. All right, let's talk SPF. So I'm actually using up a couple of SPFs. I bought this one a while back, but I haven't opened it yet because I've been trying to use up some things, but I'm really excited to try this product. Um, SPF is so important all year round, not just in the summertime. Like I know people don't wear it in the winter, which the sun exists, people. It exists all year round. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy or not. Those rays are still coming through. So anyway, but I am excited to try testing this. This is the Clinique Pep Start Daily UV Protector SPF 50. Um, I personally don't like to use anything less than SPF 50. I have sometimes used SPF 30 if it's like in a moisturizer that I really love. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to make allowances for other things you need in a product, like for example, a moisturizer. But for a straight up SPF that I would put on my face, 50 would be my minimum. So it's got a little ball in it. I guess you shake it up. It looks like it's pretty liquidy. Um, I like dispensers like this. I've used other SPFs that are kind of like this. I like the consistency. Obviously I have not tried this yet, but I like really liquidy SPFs. I feel like you're able to kind of spread it out really easily and evenly. I shouldn't be doing this on top of like makeup that I've swatched, but oh well. Hmm. It has a very, very non-intrusive, very light scent. I've used some SPFs before that are heavily scented. I'm like, why? That's just dumb. Why would you do that? Anyway, so I'm excited to try testing this out. I will definitely let you guys know what I think about it in like a hits or misses video, that type of thing. Okay, so this next product is so out of left field a surprise to me. I was doing my declutter series and there were a few products I wasn't sure about that I was testing out. I was set to declutter this. I had tried it out just in a video one day. I didn't really love it. And then I wore it the other day and I saw myself in the sun outside in the car and my highlight was so gorgeous and beautiful. My cheeks look so amazing that that just made up my mind for me that this is not going anywhere. I have fallen in love with this. This is from Jouer. This is the powder highlighter in Topaz. So this is what it looks like right here. And to be honest with you, it might be that my sun, my sun, my skin is getting a little sun. Um, even with SPF, you're still going to get some sun. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to tan a little bit and my skin really soaks up the sun a lot and I get like pretty dark in the summertime if I allow myself to. And I feel like this tone on my skin color now, it there's something about it that works so much better than it did even a month ago or two months ago. So this for the summertime, I feel like it's going to be the most amazing highlighter on me. I'm wearing it today just to show you guys like how beautifully shiny and intense it can be. Um, I am just over the moon about this. It's almost like rediscovering a product that you already own and you didn't even have to go out and spend the money on it again because you already owned it and you didn't realize it was so amazing. Lastly, for lips, my favorite lip color in the summertime are coral lips. Now I'm not wearing it today because I just didn't think it would look right with the eye look, but I have these two. Now this one is my favorite. I only wear this in the summer. Like this does not see the light of day until summertime rolls around. And then I wear it a lot. This is from NYC. It's the get it all lipstick in terrific coral. NYC is a weird brand now. It's only available certain places. Um, I hope this product is still available because it's beautiful. My favorite way to wear this is just with no eyeshadow 
lots of lashes and this lip color and like fresh face. I actually did a summertime tutorial doing that exact thing last summer and it looked so gorgeous. It's just so fresh face in summertime. It's my favorite lip color for the summer. And also Alex gifted me this at Christmas and I haven't worn it yet because this is like summertime color for me. Again, this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Terrifying Tangerine. So I haven't tried this yet. And again, I'm just like really excited to try using this in the summertime. So this is like bright orange lipstick. It's even more intense than that one. Um, the NYC one definitely has more pinky coral tone to it. This is more straight up orange in a way. So I'm really excited to try this out. So I'm sure you'll see it in an upcoming lip swatch video. But yeah, that is it for all the summertime products that I'm most excited to use. Of course, I'll be using other things, but these are the products that I'm like, I can't wait to use this all summer long and I'm going to get so much use out of these things. So let me know if you have any summertime products that you only bust out in the summer that you love. Let us know in the comments below. I'm always up for shopping for new makeup uh, but that's it for today so if you've not subscribed definitely do that I'd love to have you around in the future and I hope you're having a wonderful day I hope that you're treating yourself well and speaking to yourself kindly I love you guys I will see you in my next video bye